All right, guys, it is time for the Las Vegas finale here within our 450 career mode playthrough in Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game number three. Here today, we are going to be playing as James Stewart. Of course, I can't be JS7 just because AP actually has number seven in this game. So we are still running a number that James Stewart is pretty well known for. 259 we are on the suzuki we got some seven gear i am running the arrow helmet as once again a ripoff red bull helmet and the setup man this might be one of my favorite ones yet the suzuki even though you guys seem to think it is like the worst bike in the game and i actually don't even have the best exhaust on it but i wanted to make it match and i think this setup it's fired the suzuki looks good the bike and rider are on Point. I actually did base it off of James Stewart's 2014 San Diego setup, so I will throw that image up. And actually, you know what? Let's compare the two side by side. Maybe do a little side by side. You guys can take in the two setups, his real setup and the setup in game. He's not in the game, so I went ahead and made him. Of course, we did K-Rock, we did Ryan Villapoto, we did Ryan Dungey, and now here as James Stewart. Those were the four riders that I did make, and I think RV, uh, I don't even know if I want to count that one. The other three have been really, really good, and hopefully Stewart ends it off with a bang here in Vegas, of course. 20 second head start challenge. We're gonna load into qualifying and see if I can be crowned the king here today. Las Vegas time, man. Here we are as the iconic James Stewart. It's the final round of the 450 championship, and I'm not sure what to get up to next. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. Do you guys want to see a 250 championship or a 450 championship? Do I keep going, taking on the big boys, or should I go have some fun in the 250 class? Should I do a custom championship as an MXGP rider? Go ahead, customize maybe Glenn Koldenhoff, Prado, Hurlings, Cairoli, and do a championship as any of them. An MXGP rider takes on Supercross. I think that could be a ton of fun. I'm pretty open to ideas. I do have a few challenges planned for the remaining of this week and then starting next week. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna get up to here on the channel. So uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys do enjoy at any point in time, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. And other than that, man, there are a ton of links in the description below. Go check them out and show your support. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Discord. The Discord link is down there. The Ones Company, man, oppose nothing, conquer everything. Check it out, link below. And it is time to try and run a decent lap here in Vegas. Right now I'm chilling. P22 for qualifying. Let's focus up. Focus in and... I jinxed myself. I just want to end it with a bang as Stuart. And so far, this episode hasn't been going very good at all. So up and over the finish line, it is time to hit a hot lap and not hit a wall. All right, flowing the whole entire time on this lap. That is the goal. There we go. I didn't get pushed into that wall this time. And so far, <laughs> I'm already doing better than last lap. This section here, you can come wide into this corner and then just get on the gas and actually, I'm gonna case, of course, I'm gonna case. But hey, salvaged the slow line out of that case, so that works. Through here, of course, I missed that triple. You can triple in the middle of that rhythm. I am gonna try the outside line and that one's for you, Marcel. I know you told me that you think the outside line is quicker, so I will give it a go. I don't know why I found that comment so funny. He's like, don't you think the outside line would be quicker? And you know what, I guess we're about to find out. But so far here in Vegas, I think I just gotta focus on hitting at least somewhat of a decent lap and I need to make it in to the main event. All right, there we go, P11. I will take it. So on the gas and you can triple to here and then triple to here. If I go to the outside here, we can triple to there and I guess it would pretty much put us in the same rhythm. Of course, I did mess it up, but I guess a triple in or a single tire tap 
to the next jump kind of works out to be the same thing. So I guess it's whatever line you want to take, you're going to get into the same flow no matter what. Of course, this section, the big old Vegas send through here. I could probably try to go one jump further in that section, but wow, sketchy through there. And I actually made the finish line perfect. Maybe it was meant to be flowing through here pretty good and uh, I lied I completely lied man that is it for qualifying I am going to end the session there because that was just like chaos that was filled with goon moments and I wasn't getting any better as long as I qualified right holy imagine I didn't qualify I still would have been crowned the king but um yeah that would have sucked <laughs> I have a 60 point lead coming into the night so whatever happens happens no matter what I am going to walk away the champion but I just want to get one more win before the championship actually comes to an end 17 rounds and I only have five wins I actually want to try and get one more win here in Vegas ended off with a bang like I said as James Stewart let's see what happens 20 seconds go into the ai the head start challenge is about to go, to go down so these guys have hit the track 20 seconds on the clock nine minutes and 40 seconds actually on the clock 20 second head start go into these guys let's go through the tough block obstacle course i actually survived even though i pegged one of those tough blocks get through this section and just try and find a flow early on here in Vegas all right through here semi clean bouncing my way through the end of the section but that works I do want to try and be hitting the big line through there every lap the triple line but it's hard I think I've only hit it like a few times here today I think I only hit it what like twice three times so I don't think I managed to hit it on any of my quick laps maybe it's worth it to just forget about it and try and be consistent Tomac is 12 seconds ahead right now, so I got some work to do. On the hunt for Benny Bloss, seven minutes on the clock and I am just catching up to the back of the field. Hopefully a clean, consistent race helps me out here. No mistakes here as Stewart, all right? I know Stewart, oh my goodness, right as I talk about it, no mistakes, of course that happens. Of course, am I right? Just the goon lock. 12 seconds to AP. AP is now the leader, not Tomac, and I haven't made up any time on the leaders, so that's kind of got me worried about going for that win, but I'm going to focus on maybe catching back up to the field and seeing if I can start working my way towards, let's set our first goal at the top 15, then we'll focus on top 10. Triple into here, I do think through this section it's kind of potato potato whatever line you do want to hit it would be nice to get that triple and not mess up this section like i just did but whatever happens happens right gotta try and salvage that rhythm and in to the iconic monster alley who is next on the list even carlin gardner and then justin hill ap oh my goodness ap is so far ahead i don't even know if i'll be able to get close to ap in this moto. Webb's at the back of the pack, but hey, you know what? I actually gained two seconds, apparently, on AP that lap, so that could mean something if I stay at this pace, keep it up, and no mistakes. If that crash penalty comes into play, oh man, that is not gonna be good. Into the back of the pack now, Hill is the first person I'm gonna try and put behind me. It looks like Politelli maybe next on the list and guys it actually just clicked on me that we're here in vegas and i made it all the way through a 17 round championship oh my god this is chaos absolute chaos through there but i made it through a 17 round championship with no rain i got blessed absolutely blessed with no rain i did have one mud round that was RV takes on the Denver mud, but it wasn't even raining. It was just wet, wet conditions. So it was kind of tricky, but not as tough as a true rain round. So I think we got off pretty good here in the championship. Of course, all of the challenges and everything did make it pretty entertaining and pretty interesting, but I did manage to be 
pretty consistent all season long and just from being consistent like I managed to pull away with the points so I know you guys can say Goonzig you absolutely killed it every moto no wonder you won the championship but like I only have five wins right like it's not like I was winning every single race of course we started off the championship strong and I think that might have helped starting off a championship is huge if you start off good you are looking good for the rest of the season if you start off poorly you are looking at comeback season all season long so first round you can't win your championship there at Anaheim but you can definitely lose it if you get like last place or don't even qualify you're just putting yourself at a big disadvantage right away so it's best to get some solid results right off the bat Nap, I'm sorry my guy on the gas and triple that's a stretch a stretch of a line and if you mess it up I don't know if it's quicker I probably should have just double double doubled through there so Malcolm Stewart being next on the agenda that will be the pass for 13th if I can get up there and pass him I am in to 14th place right now so of course I have broken into that top 15 but I am like struggling to make progress towards the front of the field two minutes left on the clock and i'm still way back here i don't know how i feel about that i totally expected to get up and compete with these guys it makes me kind of wonder because like they're not that far ahead the leader who is now i'm pretty sure marv marvin luskin is only i want to say nine seconds ahead every time i hit the finish line so that's really not that far if i could get like four and a half seconds in a lap, that'd be two laps right there. I'd be right up there battling with him, but I'm not sure if it's just like a timing thing or what. He seems really, really far ahead. It seems like I can't really chip away at that nine second lead because it's been like that since pretty much the start of the moto. It was Tomac, then it was Plusinger, and now it's Marv just chilling nine seconds ahead. Brayton messing up. Did I take him out too? No, oh, there he is. He's still chugging along. Okay, into 11th as the man, Stewart, right now. Not a dominating performance at all. Hopefully I can get up into that top 10, but we are running out of time. Here in Vegas, the finale, the grand old finale, man, in the 22nd Head Start Championship is slowly but surely coming to an end. There we go, finally flowing through that section. If I could have hit that section like that every single lap, I think I'd be looking a lot better right now. Going on to the last few laps. Savachi and Reed. Hopefully I can get them like right here. Savachi's like off track. A bunch of people went down and messed up. I just I went from like 11th to 8th. And now if I get Reed, that'll be for 7th. Now I'm working for a top 5 with a few laps to go. The time on the clock has run out. So we do only have this lap and one more to go. I think I'm just gonna hit this inside. It seems pretty consistent, pretty quick. You can flow right into this rhythm. Hopefully I can hit this triple. Just so hard to be consistent through this section. Get to here and bounce, double out, and we are in to monster. Ali. I need to get Anderson and Osborne for that top five and I'll be happy. If I can do that with one lap to go, that'll be A-OK -okay with me. I don't think the win is even, it's not even in the question right now. It's not even in the picture. A podium, you never know. A podium might actually be possible depending on what happens here on this last lap. Actually, Barsha is right there. So the next few people up here are all in a group, 5th, 4th, and 3rd. The leader, is it Marv? Is Marv out front? He's actually about to lap Benny Bloss, which is wild. Benny Bloss must be struggling. But if I can catch up to Bogle here, I do have a pretty good shot at passing, well, three people. Bogle, oh, and I ruined this rhythm. Osborne's gonna get back past me. No way. Bogle, Tomac, and Barsha are all right there. All I can hope is that in this final section, I am able to fly 
and fly past the ball. Let's go one final time through Monster Alley for this 450 championship. Tomac goes down. That might be the only pass that I actually get. Pass Osborne back, and that will be a P5 here in Vegas to end off the 450 career. So P5, I don't think I can complain about that. James Stewart, of course, coming in with a solid result. James Stewart scrubbing his way to a P5 with that Bubba scrub. Am I right? 102.764 was my quickest lap, way quicker than qualifying. Marv, Barsha, Anderson, Bogle, rounding out that top five. And of course, I finished the championship with 364 points. Anderson, 307 to him. Webb had 292. I did manage to actually have the most wins with only five. Wow, I'm kind of shook by that. So that is pretty much it for the Las Vegas championship if you guys have any ideas for what you want to see next here on the channel let me know in the comments below look at james look at james holding that trophy that is that is iconic it's of course been a long 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 17 round championship but it is in the bag mission complete look at james man waving to well no one i don't really see a crowd or anything where are we are we just like in the middle of nowhere I haven't actually seen this cutscene before, and if I have, I totally forgot about it. That was funky, but I did get the 120k for completing the contract objective. I'm gonna let you guys decide. 450, 250 east, 250 west, what should I get up to? Do I ride as an MXGP rider? Do you guys have any ideas? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys all tomorrow for a custom track video. Peace out.